snake. We have to get out of here. All right. Stop those gecko and head straight to the exit. Don't worry, I'm way ahead of you. Let's do this. I've made Rex's control man. Check it out before you get started. Well, maybe you should have said that before you start stomping on through here. Rex controls. Use the left stick to move it and the right stick to move the camera. Select weapons with the R2 button and the L1 to enter aiming mode and press R R1 to launch an attack. Press the triangle button at the right time under the right conditions to perform a special attack. Interesting. Alright. What weapons do I have available? Laser! Laser! Charging. Fire! Oh yeah! You little rip-off robots can't stand against the original! I mean, I'm not saying they're ripping off Metal Gear, but... Metal Gear versus all these little tiny guys? Huh! I always enjoyed Rex's design far more than Ray. Rex is just a complete badass robot, man. Oh, good. You do your thing. Cover my backside, I guess. And I'll just kick the shit out of the robots! With my even bigger robot! <laughs> Although my bigger robot's kinda taking a lot of damage. Whoops. Not much I can do about that. I don't have rations for a giant robot. Oh shit, it's overheating. Fine! Any tank missiles. Oh yeah! Aww. Wait for it to reload. Fine, I guess I'll just go back to shooting everything and hoping my gun doesn't re you know, overheat. I guess I should just shoot in moderation. I'm glad after nine years, Rex's arsenal hasn't really degraded all that much. It's a ray! Versus Metal Gear Ray. An anti Metal Gear Metal Gear. I. I'll still win! Let's finish this thing. Exactly! Shit, that didn't work. Ow! Alright, so no melee Metal Gear Ray. Got you. What are we gonna do about Ryan, though? I mean, he's kind of stuck underneath a whole bunch of stuff. Fuck it! Heavy laser! Oh shit! One of the missiles got by, but that's alright. Where? 
Where'd he go? Liquid! Oh yeah! I just shot out a fuckload of those. Okay. I'm just gonna dance around this middle structure because it's a safety net for me. Damn it! Come on, Ray! Or Rex! This ain't working out because he's kind of circling around the building in the same direction as me. Fine! Yeah, don't worry, I, I know how to fight Ray. I wonder if I could use the same methods as last time! Shit! It's hard to move Rex, not gonna lie. Ray, if you could just not do any high mobility things, that'd be great. I wonder if I should melee him when I dodge his attacks. Oh, wait, what are we gonna do? What? Yeah, that's right. I'm stuck! Ah! Shit! What was that? Oh, God! I guess he shot me with some Gatling cannons or something. I kind of was stuck on that area over there. I couldn't walk over the fucking debris, so I'm a little trapped! I might die. This is unfortunate. I got put in a really bad area. Here, we'll use my missile launcher! No! God damn it. Farewell, brother. Yeah, I could handle that fight a little bit better if I didn't get stuck. I couldn't dodge his attacks when I'm walking backwards into a wall, you know? This time, I've got you! Oh yeah! Now I know the full extent of my abilities. Or, at least, partially the full extent of what I can do to you. Oh, it blocked right as I was gonna melee its ass. It's a good thing I'm still quick on the draw! Yep, that's me! You're also Snake! But I'm a little bit more solid than you, so... <laughs> I think I've got this battle down in the bag, friend! That was too close. Shit! No! That really sucked. Okay. I try to melee it, but I guess... Snake decided that, hey, you know what? Yeah, you're right, let's melee nothing. It's okay, it's all right. <laughs> melee, bitch! Oh yeah! <laughs> Did you like that laser to the face, Ray? Of course it's not all I've got. Oh, I was gonna try to dodge it one last time. Yeah, raise my bitch that time. Just didn't, just didn't work out last time. But that time I kept myself all the way in the front and just dodged all his attacks. Also, I like how I had a little bit extra leg armor. I think. Oh shit. Oh.
Where's Liquid? Even Liquid was like, okay. I can hardly move. Snake! <gasps> Fox. <laughs> Fox Eye again? What? Think again. No! Oh. Sorry, but that won't work this time. Behold! <laughs> Liquid! Oh, God. His arm is flailing about as it's broken. <laughs> What the fuck? You have a massive ship with Big Boss's face as a monument on it. Wow. This is the liberty we won for ourselves. Out ahead. With this weapon, I will destroy JD. Then everything ends and everything begins. But as for you, brother, you'll stay here to mark the side of watery grave. Okay, that's kind of high hardcore running. Forgive me. Oh shit, you're gonna ram the island? Really? It's okay, because Ryan's gonna block it with himself. April 30th. Yeah, yeah. I was in front of Federal Hall. There were all these tourists around you. They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. 
I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. That is kind of sad, but... Oh. Good job, Mei Ling. You missed a giant warship. Fire! Ha! Worthless fossil! I guess crushing the island will have to wait till another day! I think the scenes are a little bit more tragic if I'm old snake still, <laughs> rather than slapping on the young face. Oh boy. Total play time, 31 hours. Wow, okay, so it did count my AFK time. Oh, I hate that. Whatever. Continue, 6, alert phase 28, kills 113. Yeah, just ignore that 31 hours, because I kind of paused the game and then... I really wish it didn't count AFK time as playtime. That's so stupid. Like, yo, if I pause the game, I'm not playing the game. <laughs> oh well. Mission briefing, we're back on the planet already? Or is it just doing that? I would have figured we'd be on the ship. You know, the one we were just rescued by. Haven is headed southward through the Pacific See? at a speed of 33 knots. The Missouri is falling behind at a rate of about two nautical miles every hour. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm afraid not. This is as fast as she'll go. Liquid's target is JD, a U.S. military satellite disguised as orbital debris. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Haven will have to surface in order to use the railgun. If we can figure out JD's orbit... <clears throat> there. We should be able to predict where Haven's gonna surface. JD is in a synchronous elliptical orbit, so its next perigee should be in, uh... Oh, oh. Got it! 15 hours, 6 minutes, and 12 seconds. Right. In 15 hours, it's going to be over the Bering Sea. 494 nautical miles from the Bering Strait. Haven knows it, too. 
They'll be holding position in that area. Do they really have to get that close to launch? The nukes fired by Rex's railgun have a damage radius of approximately 300 meters. The target is a moving satellite that's traveling at 10 kilometers per second. To get the precision they need, they have to get as close as they possibly can. Liquid won't launch his nuke until JD is at perigee. The Missouri can use that time to catch up. Will we make it? Once Haven stops moving, it'll take us an hour to close the gap. After that, the Missouri needs to strike before Haven's launch preparations are complete. This ship was stripped of most of its equipment, and she's got no electronic warfare capabilities of any kind. No radar, no high-tech weaponry. We'll have to rely on our own eyes to track the enemy. From the looks of it, Haven is going to use a railgun mounted on the bridge to destroy JD. You'll need to open the cover to launch the nuke. That's our one and only chance to get inside. Inside? Why can't we attack it from here? It wouldn't do any good. As long as Liquid has control of the system, physically destroying GW would still leave supreme authority in his hands. Sons of the Patriots. Yes, Dr. Emmerich is right. That's why we need to destroy GW from the inside, before attacking Haven itself. Hmm. Liquid's very own Death Star. All right, everybody. Here's the plan. We know Haven will have to surface in order to fire the railgun. When it does, the Missouri will see it. We'll make a quick approach and deliver a strike team. Our goal is twofold. Prevent that nuke from launching and wipe out GW's programming. The enemy relies entirely on electronic means of threat detection, so they won't be able to see the Missouri until they surface. Hakiba! <laughs> <laughs> we'll launch the strike team from catapults at the exact moment Haven's armored cover opens. They'll then penetrate GW's physical server room and infect it with a worm cluster. But what if they shut down GW before we get in there? Liquid is already entrenched within the Patriots network. He needs to stay there or destroying JD won't serve him any purpose. They can't afford to have GW shut down. And let's not forget, Liquid will throw everything he's got at stopping the strike team. Exactly. The corridor leading to GW is defended by directed energy weapons that emit certain types of microwaves. Did you say microwaves? That's right. And at that frequency, the waves will start to evaporate any living person within range. A giant microwave oven. You'd have to have a death wish to go in there. Sounds like the perfect job for me. Oh. Snake, this isn't the time for your stupid jokes. Outside the corridor, I don't think he was joking, Meryl. will be out in full force. Inside, there'll be unmanned weapons waiting for us. Where are you getting all this information? You really think there's a way to destroy GW? <coughs> yes, I do. She left us something that'll point us in the right direction. Naomi helped with the preparations to stop Haven's launch. Naomi? All of our internal data on Haven came from her. Oh, that's good. The reason she got on the Nomad with us in the first place... ...was to get close to me. But she ended up turning to Sunny instead. What do you mean? She left her plan in Sunny's hands. This entire operation is based on the data she left us. <coughs> Whose side was she on, anyway? <coughs> we'll never know exactly what her true intentions were. But one thing's for sure. 
She was determined to stop Liquid. Promise. Promise me you'll carry on our will. Okay, so I guess he did hear it. Come on, guys. Somebody say something positive. Anything. We can win! Totally! Attention! Listen up! A wise man once wrote, The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Where words are spent, they are seldom spent in vain. Hey, I've heard this one before. Any other questions? <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, Snake? Anybody got a smoke? Snake. <laughs> Poor Snake. Has this big old no smoking sign right behind him. Oh god, he's gonna do it. Snake, you're like coughing up a storm without so this program, smoking. Do you really have to do this? You're saying Sunny wrote it. Actually, only about a third of it is her work. <laughs> Naomi was working on a program to destroy GW, but she couldn't quite finish it, so she handed it over to Sunny. Sunny went fishing in my library to see if there was any source code she could use to complete it. Eventually, she found some. It was Emma's worm cluster. So the worm cluster is basically one part Naomi, one part Emma, em Emma and one part Sunny. She took my sister's Neat. code and worked it into Naomi's program. I didn't have time to look over every single line of code. But what I did see reminded me of Emma. It was like she left traces of herself behind in the structure. But this worm cluster that Sunny created, it's even better than Emma's. Sunny's worm destroys the AI's intellect by triggering apoptosis in the cells. Once uploaded into GW, it should do some real damage. I hope this time it actually destroys all of GW rather than leaving fragments that can be put back together. Snake. You ever think about quitting? Why? It's not like I've got my health to worry about. Uh oh. going to Haven yourself. Why don't we get somebody else to go? There's no need for you to do it. I still have things left to do. <laughs> Besides smoke. Still got things to do myself. And I don't even smoke. Huh. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna ramp up the action and board Outer Haven. But before I do that, I am going to take a slight break. So be right back. <laughs> 